In this video, I show you how to remove a green screen from an image in Photoshop. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Here is an image which I want to go and remove the green screen from. So the first thing you need to do is go over to the right hand side like this, and then go and locate layers. And as you can see in here, I've got a few different layers. At the top, I've got my green screen layer, which I want to go and remove. And then I've got the image, which I want to be behind it, which is actually a beach. Make sure you go and select the layer with the green screen in, which you want to go and remove. And also make sure that it isn't locked. If you see this padlock logo here, go and tap on it just to go and turn it off. Now what we need to do is go to the top left of Photoshop to where we've got all these different options and go and tap on select. And in select, you then need to go and tap on color range. So what we can use with color range is basically go and select all different samples of the green screen because it's quite common that green screens are sort of slightly different in color throughout. So we need to go and select all those different colors. So what you want to do is make sure localized color clusters is selected like this. You can keep fuzziness at 40 or whatever your default is. And then just make sure selection is selected as well. Then go to the right and make sure the eyedropper tool is selected as well. Then what you want to do is go onto your keyboard and hold the shift button and you'll notice when you hold shift that you actually go and get this plus button on the eyedropper tool. And then what you need to do is go and click around the green screen taking different samples. So if I go and click here, as you can see, it then goes and selects it in the color range and it makes it black. And this means it's now part of the selection. So then do the same thing in the top right and then the middle areas as well. So just click around and see you sort of get it all black. If you aren't seeing it black like that or it's white, then make sure invert is selected like this. It doesn't really matter what you're doing, but invert's better really. And make sure you go and get rid of these white areas as well, because otherwise that's not gonna look good uh, once you're trying to sort of use backgrounds and things. So keep clicking like this, um, just so you get rid of them all. So I'll keep doing this. And so as you can see, I've now got rid of all of those. So I'll then go and tap okay. And as you can see, it then goes and creates this outline. Now, if you're finding the outline isn't quite right, then what I recommend doing is just going over to the left hand side, and then you can go and click on the magic wand tool, but you want to go and hold your left mouse button on it. You'll then get a few more options and you can go and tap on the quick selection tool. And then in the top left, you can choose what the tool will do. Either you want it to add to selection or remove. So in this case, I'll have to add. And then what I could do, for example, is make it a bit bigger and I could push it out if I want to, or I could go remove it as well by pressing on the remove tool and then pushing it back in. I'm quite happy with my selection though. And then what you can do is go and use a select and mask tool at the top as well. If you aren't getting this option here, make sure you've got some sort of selection tool selected on the left hand side and then tap on select and mask. And then as you can see, we're now getting a bit of like a preview, but what you want to do is go to the right hand side and you can go and increase the smoothness and the feathering as well uh, to go and see if you like the outcome. Then you can go and tap okay like this. Then to go and actually remove the green screen, all you then need to do is go to the top and go and tap on select, then tap on inverse. And then what you can do is go and tap on the back button like so, and it should go and remove it. Or alternatively, you can just go and use the rubber tool as well. So go and tap on rubber, and then you can go and tap on the size, make it big, click anywhere, and it will then go and remove it. And then to deselect, just press control D, and that's it. You can now do whatever you want with the image, save it, change the background, and yeah. If you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing. Peace.